its way into the line. Okay, the last one is about to move up. Right? Giraffe to steady being pacified by one of the gate attendants. Light goes on. They're racing as well. Off the inside, Giraffe, Jatumi the first away, Abdicator, Touch of Silver rushing forward as well. Abdicator's going get to beat them to the punch though for the lead. Driving forward, Mycroft, Missile Launch after the start, then Battle Talk, double digit getting back. Mrs. Hartley is next, followed by No Say in it, and Friaress settling out the back with He's a Parker. Abdicator led them running at the 1200 mark, a length and a half clear. Missile Launch is starting to lumber his way around the outside, going up into second spot from Touch of Silver. Over on the inside, Giraffe kicks up now. Holds that fourth posse on the rails at the 1,000 mark. A little over a length behind them to Mycroft outside Jatumi. One to Battle Talk and a head away next on the outside. Little double digit. A length and a half to No Say in it. Going up in front of Mrs. Hartley. Then Friar Esk and last is He's a Parker as they race out onto the side. By the 700 and Abdicator on top for As a Party and running them along at a good clip by more than a length on Missile Launch. It's a strung out field. Almost two lengths to the grey touch of silver. On the fence behind them, then Giraffe and Mycroft saved up in front of Jatumi. Double digit to the outside of those. Followed by Battle Talk, no say in it, and then Friar Esk into the home straight. Missile launch ranges up to tackle Abdicator. They're a length and a half, the touch of silver. Double digit running on. Mycroft battling away behind them. No say in it coming down the outside as the big fellow missile launch surges to the lead. At the 100, missile launch over Abdicator. Double digit and his no say in it. No say in it. Gather them up. Reach the lead. No say in it. Draws away. Beat double digit. Missile launch a vastly improved run. Behind the Mycroft touch of silver. Abdicator. And then battle talk. Friar S. Jatumi. He's a Parker. Then Mrs. Hartley. And last home, Giraffe. No say in it is the winner. Ridden by Peter Nucky. 13, no say in it for the Lindsay Smith stable. Has chimed in at the 100 mark to grab Missile Launch, who uh, really produced his best run in some time. Up there on pace, heading off Abdicator, and uh, then just exposed a little late in the race by no say in it, the smart Missile Gelding, who goes home to win. After being placed second up, continuing this good run for the Lindsay Smith Yard, both in WA and in Victoria. Out of Say No More for Chris Wells, NJ Crawford, C. Roundsville, John Farrick, and Peter Nucky aboard the winner. No say in it, an $8 chance, beats four double digit, handling the rise in weight today. And uh, again, producing another top notch effort by demerit from female agent Ash Maley Allen Kennedy. And six missile launch third in by Smart Missile from Take It Easy, trained by Vaughan Sigley and ridden by Patrick Carberry. Number two, Touch of Silver, was fourth and fifth abdicator with Battle Talk the next of them in. 13 4, 6 and 2, the placings. One and a quarter by a long head, 137.78, the time for the 1600. And 35.70, the final 600 of that race. The eighth today at 4.20, the Mark Shreve 50th birthday handicap sees the scratchings of 17, 18 and 19 also. Capacity field again over the 1600 as we head back down once again to Brittany Taylor who joins us in the winner's enclosure after the big finishing run by No Say In It at its third run in this preparation. Thanks, Darren. 581 days it's been since No Say In It has uh, entered this winner's enclosure. But, Lindsay, today was the day and he looked like he was travelling like the winner. Yeah, he uh, began a bit, bit smarter today. Generally, he's a little bit lacklustre out of the gates. but uh, And they run along a little bit and he got in the best part of the track. Uh, yeah, it hasn't been a while since he won. But, as I said to you earlier, he, he always earns money. And when he keeps ticking over the 10,000s and the, I think he got 20 out of the Geraldton Cup and things like that. So um, it all adds up before you realise it. He's certainly paying his way. His two runs to date, this preparation, has he just been working up to this win in terms of his fitness? Uh, yes, Peter was a bit critical of the trainer last start. He thought he'd run out of legs. So instead of opting to go to the 2,000, we left him here. And... Uh, 
yeah, we might leave him around here and go to Kalgoorlie for them features. Well, it seems like a lot of people have Kalgoorlie on the mind, so we well, might... I'll stay here. Yeah, well, we might need to. It's a standalone over in Kalgoorlie, so I think everyone's uh, jumping on a, a float to go there. Horse is now coming in. Congratulations on the win. Cheers, thanks. Lindsay Smith, there's no say in it, uh, comes in just behind us now. And, Pete, it was a, a really nice performance, a horse that I think just watching it in running looked to be travelling really comfortably and we know it has a, a really nice finish, drawn nicely, 54 kilos, and was able to unleash that turn of foot late. Absolutely, and look, the way the horse has been presenting last start was particularly keen on its chances, just the way that it paraded first up, looked in outstanding order, improved second up, paraded well again here today, and just clearly had that better ground to go into. We saw, obviously, Abdicator folding up there in the straight, just not suited being on the fence here today. It's obviously doing a lot of, or taking a lot of tax out of the horses as they come around the turn. So you're looking for those horses with momentum and no say in it. Perfect ride, Peter Nucky. It certainly was. And, and drawn five, it just meant that he didn't have to get right back to last and was able to get a nice cart up into the race. And Lindsay pointed out exactly what you just did. Best part of the track today. Perhaps we are looking for horses that can just be in that uh, three wide sort of line with uh, a little bit of cover and uh, come down the outside. And Peter Nucky gave it a, a gem of a ride. Pete, you were on the horse last start when it missed the kick. Today, a bit cleaner away? Yeah, but Lindsay said he's like that and didn't want to try and ride him too much out of his comfort zone. Just having that one ride on him, you get numb a little bit better. And I was happy to be three deep with cover down the back straight so I could flow better. The other day I just had to keep waiting and the sort of bird had flown when I really got to him. But that run brought him on for today, so today he could do a little bit and still be strong. Today the momentum was all on your side and he looked as though he was just travelling like the winner the entire way. Oh, exactly right. That run really brought him on. I could do what I wanted to do today. And, you know, Lindsay's team's flying, you know. You have that confidence when you're riding for those good trainers. It's always nice, isn't it, when a, a trainer's really flying and uh, you get to be legged aboard by them. Yeah, and you've got that extra bit of something under you, which you can do a little bit to not really overcompensate what you want to do. Yeah. You got the win here. Congratulations. Cheers, thanks. Peter Nucky and Lindsay Smith combined with no say in it. Well done to these connections because it's been 581 days since they've been able to enter that winner's room. So hopefully they enjoy it. We'll be more back with more shortly.